Things that will make us ladies go, hi, hello, it's Anne. Ladies, let me know and let's go. One is when you guys are talking and making eye contact, but he takes a glimpse of your lips and then goes back up to your eyes. Just kiss already. Two, it's when he's fixing his hair, but hear me out. He's looking down, fixing his hair, and then he looks back up at you and then he's smiling. Three, it's when you guys are staring at each other and you guys are not saying anything. Like it's just an intense stare and you guys are like smiling with your eyes. And one of you guys are just like, what? Because someone got to break that weird tension. And the other person's like, nothing, and then smiles. And if they get mad or jealous when you hang out with other people, they get frustrated if you don't reply back to them. You feel anxious whenever you have to talk to them or you feel like you're walking on eggshells every single time you guys do talk. That is not a good friend. I know some of you guys are going to disagree with me, but I'm going to say it anyways. Hi, hello, it's Anne. But me and my best friend do not need to talk every day to be best friends. If they are off in a relationship and they are happy, you never have to worry about me. We see each other when we see each other, and I'm just happy you're happy. Because I know at the end of the day, if I need you, you will be there. And if my best friend does not like someone, first of all, there has to be a reason. It's not one of those, oh, I just don't like them because I don't like them. No. If my best friend doesn't like somebody and there's a reason for it, which there always is, chances are I'm not going to like that person either. But... Just because we are best friends does not mean that they cannot have other friends. They may have another friend group or other people that may not be my cup of tea to hang out with, but I'm not mad about it. Because at the end of the day, I know where my friendship is. I know that we have a genuine friendship. And that's it. Let's talk about best friend duos. There's always an extrovert and there's always an introvert. One is always more willing to go out and the other one is like, hey, can we just stay in? One is always in a relationship or talking to somebody and the other one is just completely single. And one always cares way too much, and the other one just does not care at all. Things that'll make him go... Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know, and let's go. One, is when you bite your lip unintentionally, intentionally, either way, if they notice it. Two, it's when you pull up your leggings or your pants. Listen, I kind of know why, I just don't really know how to explain it. And three, it's when you're looking up at him. And bonus, being bold and just making the first move, whether it be starting the conversation, texting first, or saying hi first, it's the confidence. Here's some things I think we all need to remember. Just because you let someone go does not mean that you are not allowed to care for them anymore. You can still care from afar. Don't be frustrated with yourself just because you still care for someone else's well-being and wish them the best. Recharging a social battery is real. If you don't feel like talking to somebody or if you don't feel like talking to anyone at all for just a little bit, take that time for yourself. Your real friends would understand. Just because the person that you find attractive is not attracted to you does not mean that you're not attractive. And lastly, not everyone is going to like you. Understand that that's okay because it's not like you like everyone too. Some people are just not a good match for others and that's okay. Signs you are a huge empath. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. One, you have a hard time not caring. Two, you feed off other people's energy. So if someone is stressed out, you are gonna feel their stress too. And three, you could be feeling however you're feeling. Maybe you have your own situation going on. The moment someone tells you that they're going through something, you have this ability to turn off your own emotions and completely focus on them. Things that'll make us ladies go, hi, hello, it's Anne. Ladies, let me know. And let's go. One, it's the way he takes off his shirt. One hand over the back, and he just... Two, it's the way he says your name. Just him saying your name in general. And three, this is when he knows you, okay? Not like some random. But it's when he guides you through a crowd, or he just guides you with his hand on your lower back. Ladies, let me know. Things that will make her go... Hi, hello, it's Anne. Ladies, let me know, and let's go. One, it's when you guys are going somewhere and he wants you to follow his lead or his direction. So he kind of just looks at you and like does a little head nod, pointing in the direction of where you guys should go. Two, it's the smile, laugh, and looking down combination. You must have said something to impress him, to make him laugh, and he likes it. And three, I don't know why, but this is just, it's when his head is tilted down, but his eyes are on you. Can't explain it, it's just, <sighs> ladies, let me know.